My name's Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 years I've been doing this. I can fix it! It's hard to love your job when no one else... At this weekend's box office, Wreck-It Ralph set a new mark for a Disney animated movie earning just short of $49 million, breaking the weekend mark of 2010's Tangled. In fairness, the big day for that release was Wednesday at the start of a five-day weekend that earned almost $69 million for those five days. Wreck-It Ralph centers around Ralph, who plays the bad guy in the video game Fix-It Felix Jr., and what his life is like when he's not smashing buildings for Felix to fix. John C. Riley, who voices Ralph, describes the plot of the film. Our movie is about what happens behind the scenes in, this, in these video games, Ralph's game and other games. And what, hap what do these people do on their downtime? What do these characters do on their downtime? And it turns out that Wreck-It Ralph has become really kind of bored and unhappy in his life. He's, he's treated as the bad guy in his game because he is the bad guy. None of the other characters in the game like him really. They're all afraid of him. So he just decides, you know what? I want people to like me. I want to be a hero. I want to be the good guy. So he decides one day to do this forbidden thing, which is to leave his game by way of the power cord, go down into the surge protector where all the other games are plugged in, go into the power cord of another game and start searching for a way to become a heroic person in these other games and it's much more than he's than he bargained for. Other box office stars include Flight which stars Denzel Washington debuting at number two with 25 million, Ben Affleck's Argo which came in at number three, and Riza's The Man with the Iron Fists which came in at number four with just over eight million in sales. Well, let's close out with the bad guy affirmation. I am bad.